Oh, hey there, buddy. That's old buddy here again. We got another beauty for you today, too. We're gonna make some sweet and sour chicken so good it'll knock the tits right off you. You know, Chinese restaurant style and everything, too. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's fuck get to her, bud. So, yeah, it's gonna be fuck two part, right? You know, we're gonna get our sauce going first, and then, uh, then we're gonna get the batter, too. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, let's get her going with the sauce. So, yeah, for making our sauce here, we're gonna use vinegar. We got some, uh, ketchup. We got pineapple chunks in some pineapple juice. It's a two parter, that one there. We got uh, corn starch, and then we got brown sugar and white sugar, because, you know, fuck yin yang, bud. Yeah, so it's going to seem like a bit much of a few things, but I mean, it's fuck not bad, really. Plus, old buddy's here, and I got your back anyway, so don't be so intimidated all the time. Let's just fucking do it, right? So, first off, we're going to start with just uh, one one full cup of sugar, which is it's going to seem like a lot, and that's because, I mean, well, you know, it is. But, I mean, yeah, no, no matter how hard you try, you're never going to live forever anyways, right? So just, you know, don't worry about it. And then, uh, yeah, next we go throw a half cup of the brown sugar because, you know, it wasn't sweet enough without it, right? And then after that, we go with a nice, uh, good three tablespoons of the, uh, the old good old cornstarch there. So, just count them off. We got the one. I hope that was a tablespoon. I wasn't really watching. Yeah, that's the biggest one, right? Ah, we'll figure it out. And three. Okay, there. And now it's starting to look like this isn't all going to fit, especially when we're only halfway done. But yeah, don't worry. It'll fit in this tiny little pot. You just watch. And then next, we're going to add in a, uh, a half cup of ketchup, which is going to sound really funny. But I mean, just go ahead and stick with me on this. Like, you know, I'm a fucking idiot, but I'm never wrong. So get that tossed in there. A little bit more there. Mm, it smells ketchupy. Yeah, so earlier when I said there's going to be sesame oil in this, I fucked up. Sesame goes in the batter. In here, we're going to put a, a teaspoon of soy. Come on, you bastard, get out. You know what, we'll just eyeball Oh, There we go. And a couple more drops for good luck, huh? And then next, we need a three-quarter cup of pineapple juice. And a real sneaky trick is that is the exact amount of juice that comes in this can of pineapple chunks. And uh, we're going to save those chunks for later, though. Don't you fucking worry about that. But just go ahead and pour the juice in first. And, oh, yeah, get her all good in there now. It's looking kind of funny, but uh, I'm going to throw her on the stove here in a second. Then we'll fuck show you what's what, right? i fucking get some. Okay, let's go put this on the stove. And so, yeah, like another thing, too, is super important. Any meal you make at all ever in your whole entire life is you got to make sure you want to add the goods. You know, the old flavor enhancer there, bud. Holy shit, bud, I fucked up. Forgot the third cup of vinegar, but, you know, we'll just fix that in editing. So, yeah, third cup white vinegar. There we go. I knew I fucked something up there. But, yeah, you just throw on the stove there, and you don't need a real high heat or nothing. I just put it on three on a gas stove, so, you know, just calm her down a bit. And then you just go ahead and just lightly stir a little bit. You know, she's in there cold right now. And you just give her a little bit, and then, uh, you know, we'll come back to it in a few minutes. Yeah, just go ahead and you just give her a bit more stirrings. I can let her get warmed up. Don't worry about the color yet. We're going to take care of that later. Uh, you know what else I forgot, too, is the good old MSG and that. We don't measure, you know. We just we just eyeball it, you know. You go with what you feel is going to taste right, right? That's too many rights in the same sentence. And then uh, to get that classic restaurant color, we're going to use just the tiniest, littlest drop of red food coloring. Watch this fucking do her, bud. So yeah, now that she's just been there cooking for a bit, but now we're going to add in those pineapple chunks we were holding back earlier. So you just go ahead and toss them in there as well. Whoa. And, uh, you know, just do it to your liking. Like, I don't like a whole lot of them myself, but I also don't want to waste any of them either. And so, yeah, for the next, you know, however long it takes you to cook the rest of everything else, she just takes care of herself, you know, and just sits there and, uh, yeah, you just come back stirred every, every few minutes or so. And, uh... Yeah, let's move on to the batter. And so, yeah, so for uh, making the batter here, we're gonna, we got uh, bacon soda, bacon powder, sesame oil, all-purpose flour, more cornstarch, more sugar, and garlic powder. And, you know, as long as you keep all this shit written down, it's not too bad, you know. It's pretty fucking easy, really. Ain't it, buddy? Okay, so starting off the batter, we uh, got one cup of flour right off the go. And then uh, another uh, one full cup of cornstarch. Oops, hit the rim, huh? Making a mess, but oh well. I've had actually a couple of beers too many. I'm going to make a bit of a mess here now. And then, yeah, once again, you're going to just go ahead and eyeball in a bit of... Ooh, yeah, right there. That's good right there. Uh, but, yeah, the MSG flavor enhancer. And then we got uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. One's a bit hefty. 
And then uh, two teaspoons of baking soda. So yeah, about two of each. Simple enough. You know what I'll do too? I didn't think of it until just now. I'll put the recipe down in the uh, description so it's a little bit easier to keep track of. And then, uh, yeah, a half teaspoon garlic powder. You know, feel free to add more if you want to. It's, uh, it's discretionary. And then, um, where's my teaspoons? Two teaspoons of sugar. Boom, take it up a notch, bud. And see, uh, here's where you use the, the sesame oil. Just a little half teaspoon of it right here. A little more, but that's okay. And make sure you get the stuff with the Asian writing on the bottom. That way you know it's good, you know, you know it's good stuff, right? And then you use just a little as touch of salt. All right, that's enough right there. And then uh, lastly, you just hit her with one and a third's cup water. Oh man, I should have done this all in the KitchenAid. What was I thinking? Oh well. And then, uh, yeah, I forgot to get this ready, but... Ah, we're gonna just start mixing her up here. Let's get another sip in me there first. And yeah, you just stir around for a bit. And uh, yeah, so once she's looking all good and smooth and nice and everything, you know, that's uh, that's how you know she's done. And uh, yeah, we start just chucking chicken in her. And uh, before we get to that, I got a real, real important message about the chicken you're using too. All right, so everybody always fucks up and just uses chicken breast for anything that's just like this. I mean, that's just the kind of white people default move that I like to call it. But I mean, dark and berry, sweeter than juice. Dark meat's where all the flavor is, and so we, we're gonna be using thighs, and for this, we're gonna use uh, you know boneless thighs because it's just less work, right? Okay, let's get to her. Just a little update on the sauce before we start. Look, she's getting all gooey and sticky, getting just right, bud. So yeah, you just go ahead and you just cut her into whatever fun little bite sizes that you want. I mean, like right there is not too bad. You can go a little bit bigger as well. And uh, let's cut that one. Ah, it's gonna be pretty small. It's gonna cook faster that way, anyways. But you know, the size is just whatever, whatever you're in the mood for. Like I like them about right like that. Make sure you get yourself a big old nasty cleaver like this too. Look at the way it just slices right through. It's like no effort at all. Oh yeah, and then you take them and just as you're cutting them, you just go ahead and just chuck them in the batter right now. Take a little sip break. And then right back to work there, bud. Holy fuck, I love this knife. This is a new knife. Let's throw that one away. Ah! Being eaten by a cat. Look at that. Three shots in and no, no flesh wounds. Okay, and the uh, easiest way to do this, you just go ahead and just keep stirring them all in there. And like, that way you don't gotta get your hands all full of that. Well, we're gonna get our hands dirty in a second here anyways. And uh, yeah, since we're using like, you know, actual real batter and all that, you still have to go the old fashioned style and deep fry them. You know, air fryer just does not seem to, doesn't seem to quite work for battered, uh, you know, chickens yet these days. So go ahead and we're just going to get them in there. Oop, make it a bit of a mess on the counter. But that's okay. Uh, I'll just pretend to clean up later. Oh, now I got goo everywhere. What you want to do is you want to make sure you get them broken up or else they're going to be all clumped and stuck together. I've done that before. And, um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and drop them in for uh, a tenner at 375. So just have at her, bud. So, yeah, if you want to be productive while this is sitting here cooking for 10 minutes, just do the dishes. Holy fuck. So one thing about all this is this will be my second time making this meal. And uh, the thing is, like, you're never going to be a star the first time, the second time. Fuck, bud. Not even the third time. You're gonna, you're gonna be good at it the 10,000th time, so it doesn't come out right, just learn from your mistakes, try again. So yeah, we got our chicken out the fryer here, and she's looking pretty decent right there, and uh, next thing you do, you just go ahead and you pour the goods on her. Oh yeah, buddy, it's gonna be good. It's so good that there's three cats behind me fighting right now. And so yeah, that's the final product that we're working with right there, and uh, I say it's about time for a taste test. So yeah, it's time to uh, say, buddy, it's time to just get at her here and give her a go and, uh, you know, it's the uh, the final test here. Couldn't get one. No, let's see how she is. Oh, holy fuck, that's good. Oh, God, damn. Oh, and that is just what you call right fucking proper right there. God damn, that's good. And so, yeah, it's a lot harder than it fucking looks, but, uh. And it takes a little bit of effort and work, but holy fuck, bud, is she worth it.
Oh, I'm gonna have me a couple glasses of whiskey and just eat more of these. So yeah, sweet and sour chicken, fucking Chinese restaurant style. There you go, bud. Hey, buddy. You want some chickens? Get you a piece without sauce there, huh? Watch this. Yep, and he's gone for it. <laughs>